Hi, I'm Wayne Besson, Executive Director for Truth Wins Out. If you have ever wondered about the origins of sexuality and gender identity, you have come to the right place. Our project, LGBT Science, will examine key questions such as, is there a biological basis for sexual orientation and gender identity? What do the experts say about efforts to change one's sexuality? And what are the ethical concerns surrounding this issue? This ongoing project by Truth Wins Out will explore the latest research and interview key scientists who have studied human sexuality. Our goal is to bring greater scientific literacy and understanding to this topic. This website, LGBT Science, is critically important because anti-gay activists often distort science for political gain. In doing so, they falsely portray LGBT people in a negative light and present homosexuality as a mental illness. And of course, the APA removed homosexuality as a mental illness in 1973. They use junk science to ignorantly claim people become gay because of distant parents or a lack of interest in sports. The result from such deceit is that many parents are made to feel guilty about having gay children, and LGBT youth are often shamed into futile attempts to change their sexual orientation. As the American Psychiatric Association points out, such attempts to change from gay to straight never work and can cause anxiety, depression, and self-destructive behavior, even suicide. It can also lead to LGBT youth becoming estranged from their parents, which can have dire consequences. It is an incontrovertible fact that modern science is on our side and does debunk backward anti-gay theories on homosexuality. The latest science shows that there is a biological basis and there is no evidence that how you were raised played any role in the development of your sexual orientation. For example, I'm very close to both my mother and father. They've been married for 40 years. I was the captain of my high school basketball team and second team all city. I was not raised to be gay. It was not a conscious choice. It's just who I am. And I've got a great life and wouldn't have it any other way. I'd like to take a moment now to make it crystal clear beyond a reasonable doubt that equal rights or how people are treated should never, never be dependent on whether sexual orientation is chosen or inborn. I think it's inborn. The science certainly says it's inborn. But what if it wasn't? Who cares? In a free country, consenting adults should be able to love whomever they desire without government interference, societal harassment, or religious persecution. Finally, there are those who say that we shouldn't do this kind of research. They find science scary. They feel threatened by it and would rather not study the origins of sexual orientation. I fully understand this impulse. However, I believe it is misguided. You cannot and will not ever stop the quest for knowledge, the search for answers, and the thirst for greater understanding. It will proceed unabated because that is a defining aspect of human history. Now, there are two key reasons why the LGBT community should support scientific research on sexual orientation. Number one, it is a fascinating academic topic that expands our knowledge and horizons and offers greater understanding of human sexuality, of who we are. Number two, the research assists in debunking harmful myths and misconceptions disseminated by anti-gay activists. And that's important, and it will likely save lives. It is critical that you understand that the research we are presenting is not the final word on this topic. There is an enormous amount that we still don't know. However, the cutting edge science does teach us that being gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and heterosexual for that matter, are normal and natural variations of human sexuality. As acclaimed University of Hawaii researcher Dr. Milton Diamond succinctly puts it, nature loves variety. And perhaps we all should learn to love it as well. Thank you and enjoy our website.